But today we're going to do a stuffed pork chop. This stuff with spinach and blue cheese and chopped peanuts. It's wrapped in bacon and we'll cook it in a Dutch oven right here. It takes about 20 minutes to cook. Uh, so it's a real quick prep time um, uh, uh, and something that really is just a, a really nice dish. We've got uh, uh, the things that Joey's going to be doing using some tortillas and uh, it's a big thing now to use tortillas for things and, uh, and um, just a great way for kids to do things and have fun and something that's nutritious and you don't have to worry about and I'm going to have to tell you, I had some, I dipped one of them in chocolate here before and man they're good dipped in chocolate too and, and then I'm going to come back, I'm going to do a, a, a cherry and I'll tell you the story on this but it's a peanut butter enrobed and chocolate covered cherry and so I'll tell you the story about that when we get to that. But we're going to start right now with the chops. Now, what made Popeye so strong? Spinach. No, it was the peanuts that he had with the spinach. Everybody <laughs> thought it was spinach. But peanuts are, we've got the greatest job in the world. We get to promote peanuts. And how many folks can say that they promote something that's both good and good for you? But we can do that, and we can do it without guilt, and we know they taste good, and we love it, and we love what we do. So we're going to take, and I think our recipe calls for a cup of packed spinach, so that looks about like a cup. The most wasted utensils in my, uh, in my kitchen at home are the measuring utensils, because I figure you don't need to measure, you just sort of put it in there until it looks good. But you take that, and as you can see, I'm just taking a chef's knife and chopping right down on this spinach. And just cut it about four different directions so you get it fine enough. Alright, so our spinach is done there. next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finely chop some peanuts and that's about I don't know what you got half a cup there doesn't it Joy? It does. Looks good enough for me now. I love using a chef's knife because they're so easy to clean up and I don't really like clean up. I like mess up time but I don't much care for clean up time. So I use a chef's knife to chop my nuts because it's just easier to clean up. I prefer to use a regular uh, chopper instead of the knife. Kitchen aid? Yes. Electric chopper. Lock blades. It's no fun. It's, I mean, look at how entertaining this is, Joey. Just turn on the thing going, that's not nearly as entertaining as I am with chef's knife. But it's quick. I would already have my peanuts chopped up and in the bowl. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to tell the next story I'm going to tell. Even if you ever see Crocodile Dundee, the movie, yes. favorite land out of the movie. Knife? That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> uh, so I couldn't have gotten by and done that. That's right. Couldn't have used my favorite movie land. So then we take and we dump our peanuts in here. Kind of clean that off a little bit there. Four ounces of blue cheese. I made it where it's real simple, where you can just, see, that's why I said you waste time with a measuring cup in my kitchen, because four ounces, you just take and dump it in. And oh my goodness, Joy Purvis. Joy Purvis is my administrative assistant. She keeps me straight. I need a spoon, Joy. I'm sometimes kitchen challenged myself, so I have to have some good help. And I have Joy Carter and Joy Purvis here, and today I'm just overjoyed to be here today. They, um, we have two-story office. They're both upstairs with me, and they keep me straight. I'm surrounded by Joy every day I go to work. And it's a really hard job keeping him straight. All right, so we've got the stuff in made. Then take pork chop, boneless pork chop, thick cut. The rind sides you want to take and leave just like it is. So set it up on the edge. Take your knife. And we're going to just cut a little pocket right down in this chop. And be sure you make a pocket now. You don't want to take and cut it all the way open. 
and then we're going to stuff it with our stuffing mix. Now, this recipe makes enough for six chops is what it really does. It makes enough stuffing uh, that you can stuff six pork chops with it. And then I've got some, and I like applewood smoked bacon. Man, this is some good bacon. It's, it's not the cheapest bacon you can get, but you sure get what you pay for. And I love this applewood smoked bacon. You start by laying it on top and then roll it around and take two toothpicks. And you just take those toothpicks and attach that bacon right in there. All right, Joey, I'm going to finish these other two chops while you start on your next project. Okay. Well, the uh, first snack that I'm going to demonstrate is called the Chocolate Strawberry Triangle. And these are easy snacks. Um, they're on the back side of your handout that kids can make at home. Um, a good nutritious snack for when they come home from school, they can make this. Basically, you can use either whole wheat or flour tortilla. Um, to begin with, you can take some creamy peanut butter. We're using GIF today, which, um, by the way, GIF is the largest purchaser of Georgia Tech. So if you purchase and use GIF peanut butter, then uh, more than likely it has Georgia peanuts in here. And uh, the neat thing about this recipe is that um, even though we have the quantities of, you know, if you're making a certain number of the chocolate strawberry triangles, um, it has a list of how much you need, but really you can make this, if you just needed to make one for an individual, you could do that. And you can just use things that you already have uh, in your kitchen. Um, but you basically just spread the peanut butter on there. And this is a, a good snack for after school because peanuts and peanut butter are packed full of protein. After you get the peanut butter spread on there good, you have some options. Um, you can either use uh, strawberry preserves or either um, blackberry or if you like raspberry or, or grape jelly, any type of jelly that you like you can use and spread on that. Today we're going to use the strawberry and I'm just going to put a, about a spoonful on there. Spread that on really good. Is that bananas I see over there? It is. But it's really open to whatever um, you like on your um, triangle. And if you don't want to use fresh fruit, you don't have to. That's just an option. Okay. Now, another part of it is uh, using, to give it just a little bit of a crunch, you can take granola and add that to it. Now, you could purchase um, granola bars and chop them up yourself, or you can purchase um, this granola already chopped up in a bag. Um, also, I found this uh, cereal that's a granola cereal. So, either one of those works fine for this recipe. And just add, sprinkle a little bit of granola on top. A lot of kids love sprinkles. So we got some uh, chocolate sprinkles. And you could also add uh, chocolate um, chips, uh, butterscotch chips, peanut butter chips, anything like that. Just Big old squirt of ready whip. <laughs> yeah. You could add marshmallow cream to this if you wanted to. Um, just the options are endless, and that's what makes it so fun, especially for children to make, because they can put on it what they want to. So after you have the sprinkles on there and the granola, um, just flip over half of it and then just mash that down real good. And then just cut it up into triangles. And it's basically ready to serve just like that. You could also, if you wanted to, add a little bit of powdered sugar to the top. And then uh, you have your finished product there. Man, those look good. 